All right, here's this one. Briggs. Ugh. Ow. <clears throat> I just got done disassembling it. Well, most of the way. Uh, oh, the zoom. Here's this Briggs in case the zoom screwed it up. Okay. <laughs> Plastic camshaft. Here, the decompression was stuck like that, so it wasn't lifting up the valve. So it was not, it really did not have decompression. That was probably why I had decompression sometimes, but not all the time. And then, when I got to the connecting rod, it looked pretty much like that. The rod bolts were pretty slaved. And as I turn the block, move this funny looking governor lever, you can see the uh, little metal shard there. And here is from the uh, oil pan, there is another little piece of metal in there. I have no clue where that came from though, because this is fine. Here, actually. Well, kind of. It's got some bad scoring. If you look, you can see it. I'm going to pull off the uh, deal now. Um, yeah. Gotta get my tool. Gotta get my tool, too. Well, there it is. Nope. Goes cap. The cap was actually really easy to pull off because it wasn't knocking us, or it was knocking us. So it wasn't stuck by some kind of weird suction from the uh, oil on the crank like some of them are. Uh, get off! Uh, uh, this thing is impossible to get off. Thing is impossible to get off. Forking at this piston. This is impossible to get off. Jeez. <laughs> Excuse me. Ah, finally. Circlet. And there's only one of them. Thank God. <laughs> Which over here. Pull my makeshift ring. Alright. Uh, pin pusher, which is just a uh, standard screwdriver, because <laughs> I don't have time to buy a, a real one, and I don't really need one, and when that fails, I just have the uh, release arm of a vice grip, let's see, that shit myself, I'm sorry, about all this camera fumbling. Piston. Release. This thing is so hard to get out. I don't know why. I had it out earlier. Excuse me. Ugh. Camera fumbling and then a bad view. No, I will not be surprised. This video gets a pretty bad rating. Uh, camera fumbling is bad. Well, I got another way. Thing is like stuck. Wow.
Ah, it's finally coming out. Ah, it's just, a, it just needed a little more. I'm not rebuilding this engine, so nothing's gonna really happen. Too much money, too many things are shot. Yeah, that was pretty wreck naked. Well, here's the uh, pin side of the rod. You can see some scoring there. Some scoring on there. Some scoring on there. This flywheel is impossible to get off, so I'm not even gonna mess with that. Was <clears throat> inside the valves. <laughs> I will never get over this though. Plastic, plastic camshaft. Lifter here. There's a head over there. And the uh, other crap. There's uh, oil singer, governor deal thing there. This little boob shaped thing. The engine goes fast. That goes out like that and pushes that boob shaped thing onto this thing. And then when that goes out like that, it slows down the engine with the governor rod over there. Just turn the block. So you can see it. It's down there on the ground. Fish around a little bit. In all reality, it moves about that much. But because there's no governor in it or anything else, It'll just like move all around. I'm really sad about this though. Because it ran so smooth. And then all of a sudden, you know, I was way over there, it started squeaking and knocking at the same time. I was like, and it got progressively louder. Of course, I knew it was gonna go, you know, sometime soon, but, you know, yeah, it, it went. Bolts are slaved. Basically, in conclusion, slaved bolts, bad rod, bad crank, beat up piston ring, uh, piston pin, beat up piston, and a um, really pretty beat up flywheel, I'm surprised. Didn't blow up all over me. And a uh, burnt valve. Well, that's about it. Take a good look before the camera runs out of juice. Mm, the board here. Scratch. <laughs>